When it comes to technical SEO, your robots.txt file can fix a lot of the issues that you may be seeing. Most Shopify stores haven't set those up correctly, and so you're wasting your crawl budget, which means you're showing pages to Google that you shouldn't, and your SEO performance is suffering as a result. In this video, I'm gonna show you what a robots.txt file is, how it works, and how to set one up in your Shopify store. So what am I even talking about? Well, a robots.txt file is a text-based file that is on most websites, and it tells user agents, which are crawlers, what pages it should and can crawl and which ones should be ignored. So imagine you walk into a building and you ask which rooms you're allowed in. Then the person greeting you says you can go into every single room except for room A. That's pretty much what we're doing with Google and other user agents, we're basically telling them to ignore certain pages on our website and tell them not to visit it. And these are pages that we don't want Google to know about or really showing the search results more importantly because the pages like checkout pages, uh, different tagged pages, you kind of like second, third, and fourth pages of your collections, carts and other things like that. And the reason we don't want these uh, crawlers to have a look at them is because they're not set up to bring in traffic. So it doesn't really help our SEO performance, basically. They're purely transactional or operational pages whose sole purpose is to help a user purchase or provide information that isn't needed in Google. Each website gets allocated a crawl budget and if we waste our budget on pages like this that serve no purpose to our SEO performance, then you may use up your budget on these pages and the pages that actually do matter don't get crawled as often so they don't actually bring any more customers to your website. So what does this actually look like? Well, a robots.txt file is a pretty simple document um, it can be created quite easily. So I want to show you an example from Gymshark. So this example here, you can search this on uh, your own website to see if you have one. Just add robots.txt to the end of your URL and then it should uh, populate a document like this. And so it's pretty much just the list that has user agent at the top and then telling it um, which kind of URLs to not visit basically. It disallows this user agent to go to that uh, URL. And so the way we set this up is we specify who the user agent is, and then we say this user agent is not allowed to go to any uh, URL that has cart in it, that has orders in it, that has checkout and so forth. Now, this little asterisk here basically means all user agents. And again, a user agent is like Google, it's all different crawlers that go on your website. And so you can see down here as well, it's different things like hrefs as well. So different SEO tools that crawl your website to find information, we're telling them not to look at these specific pages. And then you can also specify specific individual uh, user agents like this one Gymshark has done here. They've said specifically to Ahrefs and then there's a list of links that they're not allowed to visit. And that's really all it is. You just wanna set this up correctly to make sure that all these different crawlers aren't crawling to pages that are irrelevant and I'll show you now how to actually set one up in your Shopify store. So once you're in here, you wanna click here and click edit code. And now we're in our code, we wanna click templates and you want to see if you have one set up. So if you do, you can click into that and you can edit different things. And then if you don't, you just wanna click add new template, select the template and select robots.txt, which isn't there right now because you can only create one and I've already created it. Now, once this is created, you can add different things to it. There's also a helpful document here that they provide to give you some more information, but you can actually then check your URL to see what it looks like. So I've gone to the URL and you can see it's very similar to the Gymshark one um, and everything is kind of pre-populated by Shopify. So a lot of the time, as long as you've got it there, you won't have to do too much else. But what we can do, as I said, is we can go back into the code and then we can add different user agents and we can dis disallow them by putting in the information there. Now, a lot of the time, that's all you'll have to do. As long as you've got a robots.txt file set up in Shopify, then Shopify should pre-populate majority of the things that you will need. However, depending on how big your site is and what issues you have, that will determine what kind of URLs you want to block the user agent or the crawler from searching for. If you found this helpful, then make sure you subscribe down below Leave a comment if you need help with anything SEO related, specifically for Shopify stores, and I'll see you in the next one.